So we have a 2007 Colorado here today and it has a pass lock issue. We turn the key on, pass lock indicator stays blinking, which means if it's not solid, it's not gonna start. It's just gonna crank, no RPM signal, no start. There's a couple ways you can go about this. You can leave it in the on position like it is with the door open until it goes solid, stops blinking, then you can start it, might start, might not, might take a couple tries. The other option that works 50-50, again, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, or it eventually will, is turn it off, take your key out, drop in your cup holder, go back in and make a coffee, 10, 15 minutes, an hour, whatever, come back out, let the system reset, try it again. You can also take the battery off, tie the two terminals together, let the system drain all the ohms out. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. When I can get this truck to exit its pass lock mode, I'm gonna show you how to fix it for good. The truck has to be running while doing this process. If not, what you're gonna do when it it's disabled is if you disable it while the truck is off, it's gonna be in permanent lock mode. So the truck has to be running and while it's running, we do the procedure and then it's in permanent unlock mode. So once I get it running, we're gonna go up here under the dash to that module right there. And on the back side of it over here, there's that white wire with the blue stripe on it. What we're gonna do is unplug that, take it down and cut it and tape off or butt connect the ends away from each other so it is no longer connected once the truck is running. And what that does is permanently disables the pass lock. You can't jiggle the wires, it's nothing like that. It's just a GM thing. It's been happening for years. Happened on the 90, what was it? 99 to 06 full size. It used to happen in the late 90s, early 2000s, Cavaliers and Cobalts. It's a known issue in all kinds of GM products, and it's always the same. Permanent fix is splicing the wire apart underneath the dash. While the car is running, we'll take it away. So I'm gonna show you, once I go back in the hose, do a little bit of chores, whatever, come back out, try to get it running again. I won't bother videotaping any of that unless it's actually gonna start. And then I'll show you when I'm done what I've done to eliminate the uh, issue permanently. After that's done and the wire separated, it's capped off so it won't arc on anything, stuff like that, the truck will be in permanent unlock and we'll start every time. So right there, cut it apart, tape it all up good so they're not gonna arc out on each other. Well, the truck was running and then we turn it off should be able to turn it back on. Start every time. This one's got a EVAP leak, so it's a little temperamental to shut off and turn right back on, but that's it. We can give it a couple revs here. Get rid of all that fault junk. Turn it off. You put your key back out. You can do whatever you want. Turn it. There it goes every time.